honestly, in terms of what I'm expecting for the next 15 ish episodes is just more training for everyone. So I assume that's what that's happening in these two episodes. I'm excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episodes 134 and 135. This first one is called Those Who Have Been Gathered. No idea what that means. We just got finished with our second training at the Yultim Volcano Strong Magic region. And with that being ended, us gathering some new mana skin development, character development, resolutions, um, everything, resolves, you know. We come back to our Black Bulls base only to have Mariliona there again. So I have no idea where this is going to go. I assume more training, like I said. I am hyped. People are only, only hyping up and gassing up this next spade arc. So I got to find out what happens. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on that Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always, for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius much appreciated let's hop into this black clover episodes 134 and 135 first one is called those who have been gathered let's do this all right we we're at the vermilion residence we have just brought been re-brought back from the black bulls Ooh, look at all the vermilions <laughs> yeah more like we were dragged here but that's something coming from Kirsch. That's I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> yes, yes. That's why I'm like, I'll take it. Okay. The way he's making it seem so serious, I don't feel like it's gonna be super serious. I do like the way he revealed the curtain right there. Oh, Mother Teresa. What's up? The old sister lady. We haven't seen her in a minute. She was the one who taught Fuegi and, Mar and Mariliona. 15 years in the sisterhood. Shouts out. Sister Teresa. I mean, technically they weren't lying, so... Technically, they aren't lying. Mario and Fuegi. Yeah, them hearing cute nicknames for such serious, badass people. I love that, you know? What, what was her nickname? The Crimson... What was it? And I was literally just about to say, I know we're going to get some flashbacks. No, I agree. Today is a celebration for her. We should definitely enjoy it. You know, it's a well-needed day. You must need breaks like this. But we do have a devil to go kill. You know, this does look super enjoyable, though. Can't lie. That's cute, though. I was just about to say we should see Marie. Because she was always with Sister Teresa. Just don't let Ghosh know that Marie is talking to Asta. Why does he look like a little gauche? Gray. It had to be gray. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Okay, a party trick that will delight her. This should be interesting. I'm trying to think what I could do as a party trick. Do I have anything I could do? I don't think so. I don't think I'd be able to delight Sister Teresa. Now I feel bad. Now that is something we could do. Kids are a different story, you know. I could see that. I mean, Mercury magic is very aesthetically, you know pleasing so but if she hears her mom would do it you know she's immediate to jump into that i mean her valkyrie armor looks oh okay some water moves water great party trick you can make water just do anything you know i'd be i'd be like let's go now what's asa gonna do show him his muscles 
Throw me two plates, but can you juggle? You better not break these nice plates. What the hell? Oh, we can. Okay. Okay. That is a skill. Shouts out to Asta. That's talent. And he caught him with his mouth. Okay. Yeah, you have to do one too, Mr. Fuegolian. You can't just command us to do one. Okay. He can cook eggs to the exact consistency that he would like in his hand. I won't lie, that's pretty handy if you had eggs on you all the time. I mean, I honestly thought that was impressive. Cooking the eggs exactly how you'd like. She just starts picking up the kids, throwing them around. Jesus Christ. Christ, are you not entertained? Okay. Look at her, just beating on monsters. Which, it's because it's kind of a filler thing. I don't know if it's canon or not. For about 10 years, that makes sense. But someone in the comments told me that Mary Leona was the one when we were searching back for the beasts that Yami takes care of back in the day during the flashback Mary Leona was the one who killed the beast parents so we had to adopt those beasts you know it makes sense <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> now you got siblings roasting each other this is not good uh oh don't roast Mary Leona too She relates to that because she had overflowing mana like crazy. Yeah, you were just a little bit of a late bloomer. It's not as bad as you thought because she couldn't control her. This is not what I was expecting for this episode, but look at... <laughs> what? Yeah, siblings fighting, nothing new about this. That is hilarious. Talk about sibling fighting. And now we have Ghosh gonna reveal himself, yep. This is just all chaos right now. Like, this was supposed to be like a, a celebration for Sister Teresa. And now look at this. And she's going to be the one to stop it. It all makes sense. That's the sister. That's the Crimson. What was her name? The Crimson Lioness? The Crimson Jaguar? Crimson Panther? It was something. I just I think Mary Leona is the Crimson Lioness. So what was Teresa's? I'm forgetting. Yeah, yep, yeah. that's a stern talking to, I'd say. That's nice. This is still a celebration. Come on. Okay. That way, this doesn't happen too often, but we still have something to look forward to. That's a long time, but she'll do it. The She Leopard, that's what it was. The Crimson She Leopard. Shouts out to Sister Teresa. Oh yeah, I still remember that Neen arc. That was crazy. I missed that. That was a great arc, honestly. All right, on to the next episode. This one's called The One Who Has My Heart, My Mind, and My Soul. I'm very curious about that. That's not where I was expecting him to go with that. Yeah. He did say that, but I don't... I think he meant actually cursed. That's hilarious. So we're going to defeat a devil in a whole nother kingdom to defeat one curse. But for Finroll, 
<laughs> what are we gonna do to get rid of his curse? I'm curious. Training to make, oh, the Drevy Hinker. I actually really like that name. I love names that are just like that, you know, but going to a bar seeing if he flirts. The Mixer. Oh, look at Nero. I definitely agree. Mixers are, social interaction is great, you know? Rebecca's here. Karen. Okay, she's one of those girls. Okay. She's one of those girls. Okay. She's more like me. She's more like me. The last one. Okay, so to help Finral out with his heart issues, Asta invited Rebecca to a mixer as to why she's one room. Why Asta invited me to a mixer? Because she thinks Asta is. <laughs> so obviously she's going to want to come to a mixer, not knowing that Finral, we're tr here trying to help Finral. And then she invites her two friends, and we have luck. Wait. Was this the same? This is this can't be the same episode. Obviously, this is a different episode because we're much later. But is this the same group that went to the mixer last time? Because I remember we originally went to a mixer with was it other ladies? Luck was there too. I remember that because he was wanting to fight everyone. That's the only reason. Is that not? Am I crazy on that? Oh. And wasn't Noel working there as well? Yeah. Again. Okay. I'm glad. This is a. This is a recap for me, but this is a good one because I've forgotten so much of this. And <laughs> Nero can refix it. Kawaii. <laughs> and now we have Nero, not from last time, who is doing everything Noel doesn't. She is an angel. We gotta, we gotta help make Finral's heart stronger. He has to be the only man for Fina's, you know? He already has his hand in a portal ready. Jesus. He has probably like a stash just hidden in a room just full of fucking roses he can pull out whenever. That would be hilarious. Like the Gilgamesh of flirting with girls. <laughs> oh no, we have Seke as well. And his two fucking goons, just like last time. Honestly, he might get a little bit of women action now that he was the one who's friends with the king. This is true. And they're just not interested at all. I'm the only <laughs> Okay. Seke Bronzaza. No, he means he wants to fight you. Oh, because he's ignoring everything and being very introverted. She loves, she likes that. Meanwhile, Nero is the perfect waitress as this bar has ever seen. <laughs> the Drevi Hinker. Who are these? Oh, it's Langris. Is that Langris and Finez? Are they watching Finral? Meanwhile, we have two Blue Rose Knights. Who would be in here? Soul, Charlotte? Oh, Puli Puli Angel, Soul, and Charlotte. And Yami and Charlotte? Hello, hello. I really like Charlotte's outfit and her hair done to the side like that. Jesus, look how non-mannerly the Black Bulls are. Come on. I know, right? Mm-hmm. A social mixer. Okay, Pooley. Little wink action. <laughs> Eating contest time. Bring it on, giant woman. I like how her name's Giant Woman, and she can create giants, and she's a woman. It's kind of punny. And what would that be? She's a relationship guru, okay. 
What are we trying on new outfits? I do like what she's wearing right now. Making her look how appealing she looks. Blue rose, prickly queen. I won't lie. If someone did that for me when we're at dinner, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna like her a lot. I can't lie, Pooley's giving some good advice right now. Nonchalantly touch him. I can see that. In certain ways, you know, like some girls who have a big buff man will be like, Ooh, your muscles are so big. Or, like, that's what you can do with Asta. Mm. You just gotta start touching him, Charlotte. Charlotte and getting help from her knights to help her get with Yami has been amazing to me. I love it. It's been multiple times, you know. Actually, for like a date or a picnic, oh my god, going to the Heart Kingdom would be beautiful, you know? Especially with, if everything works out, we become friends with Laura Pechka, you know? We can be friends with the Queen, oh, that'd be so dope going to the Heart Kingdom. Shouts out Gordon getting new friends outside the Black Bowls with Pooley Angel. He's about to get her measurements you know what i'm saying shouts out pooley angel shouts out gordon that's what i've been saying the blue roses are very supportive no i like what you're saying i like this conversation and that's what he's been telling you forever you know he loves strong women but it's good to rely on others so he likes that okay Oh, both grab the pepper at the same time. This is romantic. I know. <laughs> I'm like Pooley. <laughs> Nonchalantly touching. <gasps> and she's out of here. Well, it was great having dinner with you, Charlotte. Have a great night. <laughs> of all times, right? He's like not into her. Well, he can't be. Resist, Finro. Resist! They... They have been insinuating that Luck was talking. That's so funny. The whole time. That's gotta be Noelle. Or Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a catch. Shouts out, Finroll. <laughs> Angry, yep, see? Even though, look at that position he got her. <laughs> oh. Okay. Finn is being able to accept him. She's a, she's a good woman. Shouts out, Finn is. Now we have everyone at the dinner party together. Oh, pure coincidence. We just happened to pick up a side job here on Tuesdays. Yeah. Rebecca knows. <laughs> Asta, or Rebecca really knows. And your training's just begun. <laughs> That's a great senpai. Never, never abandons his students. She's at least saying that. And he says, yeah, I know. Who are we thinking? Because I know Yami doesn't think it's himself. <laughs> Looks like you still need an angel's help. Pooley Pooley's flying her away. Oh! Talk about a wing woman. Get it? Wing woman? <laughs> Pooley! Shouts out Pooley Angel. That's quite the, quite the way to wrap up the night right there. Cheers, guys. Cheers to Yami and Charlotte. Well, those were two filler episodes, most definitely, but they were 
super fun. Great little recaps and flashbacks because trust me, I really needed them. Like my, my brain gets a little fried sometimes when I be forgetting some stuff, but the way they tied them all in worked perfectly. Like the first episode being about Sister Teresa and her 15 year congratulatory party and being a part of the nuns or the sister group, we should say, is super dope. Love seeing Mary Leona, Huagolian, Kirsch, um, Mimosa and the sibling rivalries there and Mimosa and Fuegi as kids, super cute and how Teresa is such a badass she leopard, I had to remember the name, the she leopard who trained them. Super fun episode all around, like I said, just enjoyable, re-getting to know these characters, reaffirming our love for them, just getting some funness before the darkness ultimately does hit. Um, now I do know, if I remember correctly, we should have a few episodes now that's not filler. And then we go into a good little filler bit. And then we go into what you guys were saying is like the crazy stuff. I don't really know. But all I know is that no matter what is there, I'm going to be sitting on this ride, sitting on this journey and going along the path. I'm ready for it. Um, but with this episode with the mixer trying to heal or, or strengthen Finroll's heart, that was super funny. All around hilarious episode with uh, him and the girl, the, the introvert that he was dealing with, how she likes him. And then you just have Asta and Rebecca trying to play Cupid, love maker, love match, you know? And then you have <laughs> the girl with luck thought he was trying to say, let's fuck right now. But he was really trying to say like, I will beat your ass, right? <laughs> just too funny. And then Noel, Charlotte, Yami, all that, like all around. I hope one day eventually we do get together in terms of Asta and me personally, Austin Mimosa, but Austin Noel could work too. Austin Noel, Austin Mimosa, Yami Charlotte, Finral, and Finez. I want everyone to get together and be happy, have a bunch of Magic Knight children. You know, that'd be super dope. I don't know. Great episodes. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon, early access and full length, four episodes ahead. Links are in the description like always. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Have a great day. Peace.